Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. I apologize, I have four wives and one of them she was asking me if I have second wife. And I told her no. And then the second one she asked me if I have other wife. I told her no. And then the third one, etc, etc. So I can explain to you how much painful it is uh, but in the same time, it is fun. It is really fun, especially when you have for mother-in-law. And when they drain you, and then you have tons of kids, you can't send them to school, so you send them to the street, and we create a homeless society, the street full of kids, but nobody knows who is the father, and nobody even care. Today, about to our topic about lying. You know, the Mohammedan, uh, they always try to fool uh, non-Muslims. And there is a lot of, between us, they are ignorant. You know, there is a lot of stupid people who they ne never study, never search, never read, never check what people say. And they take what people say for granted. And this is why here, we don't want people to take what we say for granted. I advise you to do the same. Anything I say to you here, please check it out if it's true or not. In fact, uh, we show all the reference in the screen and we give you even Muslims' websites. So we don't make things up and Muslims cannot deny it. They can, I mean, they can, but we get them busted. That's what we do here. So in front of us here, we have a Muslim website, islamweb.net. As you see, this is not our story. This is their story. We did not make it. This is a very official Islamic website run by Muslims from Qatar, peace be upon her, which is run by the most corrupt family in the world, who lately they've been under the investigation by European Union, but for sure they will do nothing to them, uh, for bribing members in the parliament to make themselves look better, for killing hundreds and thousands of poor employees in their countries. Literally, it's a slavery. The question in front of us, and for those who will watch the video later, in case you do not know where to find this story, just search for the title. Husband may be lying to wife about uh, not taking another wife. So you can search for this title, and I'm sure in Google you will find it. And as you see here, it says fatwa. Fatwa, in case you do not know, what does that mean? It means opinion according to the Allah teaching and his prophet for sure uh, but you know the prophet teaching is more important than Allah because the Muslim they have one God his name is Muhammad I know they say to you he's a servant of Allah etc but we know that everything Muhammad he is he's everything if Allah he says something in the Quran supposedly the other person Allah is then Muhammad he says something oppose that thing the Muslim they follow what Muhammad said and the excuse he was sent by Allah. <laughs> so the question here, husband may be lying to his wife about not taking another wife. The question, is it haram? Haram in Arabic means forbidden, unlawful. Or halal, halal means, you know, lawful. For a husband, and by the way, if you are a person who eat halal food, you are breaking the command of God in the Bible and you are committing big sin for eating what is a slaughter in the name of a pagan god, which is the god of the Muslims. If you, so if you are buying halal food, you have to repent and not to support terrorism. Because each time you see a symbolic of halal on any food, that's mean they are paying to the Islamic center to get that stamp. So you are paying money to the Muslims in your country, whatever your country is. So be aware of that, otherwise you are a certified donkey like the rest of them. So is it haram or halal, which means is it lawful or unlawful for a husband to lie to his wife about taking another wife to prevent her from becoming upset? Look look how noble this people. Those Muslims are very noble. Or leaving the marriage as a result of his new marriage. So this is the question. Let us go to the answer. Praise uh, uh, praise be to Lolita Allah the Lord of the world he's the Lord of the world come on I saw this movie the Lord of the Ring and the blessing and peace 
upon our prophet he cannot even answer and say they say in fact in Arabic they don't say blessing and peace are upon the prophet they say Allah pray on the prophet imagine Allah himself he prayed that's what the Quran says okay and his family and his companion and let us continue you know like his neighbors and his accountant and his secretary who she have a big boobs and he used to play with them because Muhammad he was all over the place okay no doubt that the speaking is uh, is a mean to, uh, to achieve some goals so any good and any praiseworthy goal look look at that look at the word praiseworthy goal hmm. that could achieve through truth look truth look at this should not be achieved otherwise what but if there is no other way to achieve this goal <laughs> get ready get ready how the muslims they achieve their goal by lying so but if what if there is no other way to achieve this goal abdul huh but a through line what if there is no other one hmm. now we have a question mark what if there is no other way? Mm. We have a problem here. We can't achieve without lying, brother. So you see, we have a good goal. It's a good goal. It's an honorable goal. I mean, lying to my wife is honorable goal. And I don't want her to be upset. Uh, you see, I'm a good guy. You know? <laughs> So, what if there is no other way, brother? Let us let us be ser serious here. But if there is no other way to achieve this goal, which is good goal, okay, what is the goal? But through lying, then lying becomes lawful. Amar Rabbi Amar. This is the opinion of the Imam and Nawawi. Lying is lawful between a spouse. Lying is lawful between spouses in Islam. And actually, this is what Muhammad himself he said. He said, a man he can lie to his wife, and the wife she can lie to her husband. So it's lawful. If it's done for the benefit that uh, accepted by Sharia, look, 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 look how strict this religion is. We have a Sharia, Sharia, I mean law. You know, as you know, I have a degree in the Islamic law and I was, uh, you know, it, it is hilarious when they call it the law. There's no law in the law. I mean, this is the most stupid called law ever. But anyway, I don't want to give you too much details to give you a headache. So as long it's accepted, accepted by Sharia, by Islam, imagine Islam accept lying. Islam accept lying. Muhammad said you can lie to three, your friends, your enemy, and your family. Who's left? Nobody. It's reported by Muslim from Umm Kulthum, one of the, uh, the, the women, Muhammad is uh, having them in his basket, that the Prophet said, the liar is not the one who reconcile, or reconcile between people by saying good or reporting good. Hmm. So, you know, you have two people, they don't, like, they don't like each other. So what do you do? You go to this guy, you say to him, no, he like you, by the way. No, no, he like you. He told me he like you. And then you go to the other guy, you say, no, this guy, he said he love you, man. I swear by Allah, he said he love you. And this is supposed they will fix it, but sooner or later they will find out <laughs> that they are, this is not true. How you can fix things by lying? What about fixing things by decency? If you read all religions in the world, you will not find a religion that says you can lie. You cannot. 
Abdul, he posted a comment in the previous video. He says that Paul, he said, if my lying is about glorifying God, you eat it. Jesus, this is not a, a Paul saying I'm lying. They are accusing him of being a liar. So he said, <laughs> how I'm lying, if all the lie is not about me, I'm glorifying God. How I can be a liar? A liar is someone, he makes things for his benefit, like Muhammad, who makes chapter in the Quran just about his private part. Any believe in women, she can if the prophet. This is obvious, this cannot be from God. This is for the benefit of the sexual desire lust of Muhammad. And here we see again repeated method that Muslims, they can lie to each other. This is the whole society based on lying. So if two Muslims are fine in relationship because they lie to each other. Do you see it? If, if there is two Muslims are in good relationship together because both are liars. And the Muslim, they say that this is a way to reconcile between people by lying to people. And then he can continue saying, she added, I have not heard him, the prophet, permitting lies, if anything, except in three. Focus with me. Three. Three situation. People reconciliation, war, and talking of a husband to his wife and the wife to her husband. Can you believe it? So not only we lie to our friends, and this is called reconcile. <laughs> I will let the war thing go because it's a war, you know, like, okay, the enemy capture you and they tell you, tell us what are your friends. Uh, you are not going to tell them, you know. But as a Christian, I will not just tell them. I will not tell them. Why well, I need to lie? Kill me. I will not tell you. But I will let that go. And talking and, uh, uh, and talking to the husband of the husband and his to his wife and the wife to her husband. So you see, Islam treat women and men equally, my friend. You can lie to your husband too. But look here how those people, they are really awkward. If you read down there, it says, so you're lying to your wife by denying having a second wife is lawful. And now if we ask the Muslims, just to show you how stupid this religion is, do you see the line in the top? It says the wife lying to her husband. The wife, she can lie to her husband. How far? The man, he can lie about having sex with second women. You call it wife, you call it, this is cheating. This is literally cheating. So the wife, she asks you, do you have another wife? You say, no, I swear by Allah. I don't have. And by doing that, that's mean you have to lie to everybody. Because you should not, you will not let anyone know. Your family, I mean the guy family, his sisters, his brothers, his, his sons, his sons, they will not be able to know. And what if he have sons from the other wife? They will not be able to know. So the second marriage is totally secretive. Nobody will know about it. The whole community, because if you tell the community, the community will tell the wife. So now the husband, he have to lie to whole community. And this is lawful. What if the wife, she have another husband? <laughs> a Muslim will say to you, oh, Christian prince, are you stupid? In Islam, you cannot, a woman, she cannot have a, another husband. <laughs> how awkward. Why not? Oh, because how we will know who is the father? Very easy. Today, we can make a test of a DNA. will take five minutes, and we will prove who is the father. Same time, if you marry to one woman or four women, who guaranteed that you are the father? Who said that you are the father? Did you make a DNA test? Because you can have a wife and you are the only husband supposedly, but your wife, she is sleeping with the plumber, the cable guy, 
the grocery guy, the butcher delivery, Amazon delivery, the post office man, and then your son will come with multicolors, like an army uniform, universal, like the Lady Diana, they call her lady, they, sorry, they call her princess. You know, in the world today, if you are from a big family, important family, or you marry someone from a big family, even if you are a whore, they call you a princess. I mean, the women she stepped with everybody in the country, the cook, the guard, the bicycle guy, the driver, I mean, everybody, even Muslims. And then they call her princess and everybody is sad for her, crying for her. So uh, the, 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 the so-called Diana, uh, she can lie to her husband, Charles. Hey, Diana, uh, do you have any? No, I swear by Allah. Uh, but she have a Muslim guy in the bed. What about you, Charles? Oh, I uh, don't. I swear by Allah too. But he have a balbula in the bed too. When you find a family, when we say the word family, this is where a human being he trusts everybody. It's a family, not in Islam. For they are corrupt to the bones. And imagine, it says here, there is no harm in it. There's no harm in lying to your wife about having second wife. So one day you will die and then they will find that you have 10 of kids from other women. And now they will take the house and they will take the money and they will inherit everything. There's no harm of a cheating with the women she spent her life. Would you believe in you? How about the women she do the same? When you follow a filthy prophet, the link is in the info of the video, my friend. The link is already posted in the info of the video. If you click at the info, you will find the link. And again, you do not need the link, but I will post it again. Here we go. Uh, you can always search for the title which we showed you in the beginning. Because uh, you might watch the video later and you don't know how to find it. So here we go. Learn how to do simple stuff. You see something in the screen, type exactly the same, especially while showing you in English. Type exactly the same in, in, in Google. Husband may be lying to wife about not talking, taking another wife. That's it. You will find it. Once a Muslim woman, I don't know if anyone of you can, can give me the link if you have it. Uh, she sent a, a question, I think the same website. Asking, she is an American or Western something, another, you know, another, another stupid woman marrying a Muslim. She's asking, she's saying, my husband did lie to me. He went to Jordan, he go to Jordan every year. He tell me he want to visit his parents who they are old. And then I discovered that he have other wives and children. <laughs> and then the answer came to her, the stupid woman. He said, to her, so what? Why even you are asking him? You brought this to yourself. He have the right to lie to you. He have the right to lie to you. Can you believe it? Who in the world want to marry? And by the way, a Christian woman, she cannot marry a Muslim. One of you uh, posted that his, his brother-in-law is lying to them, whatever. You know, uh, you know, there is no marriage between Christians and Muslims. Anyone who think or he says so, she is, he is fooling himself. A Christian can marry only Christian. The only case a Christian, a believer, he can marry or he can be a spouse of non-believer if the marriage was before he become a Christian. Before, not after. If you see a priest, because you see, how a priest, he claimed to be a priest, he followed all the, the, the command of God, he disobeyed the Bible. And how he will marry you for a man, he don't promise you to be honest. 
When a Christian man, he marry a woman, and a woman, she marry a man, they are under oath, under God oath. They promise that they will be faithful. That will never happen in this garbage religion. So how you can be married to a Muslim who believe in pagan God, Allah, who believe in lying to you, unless you are a stupid idiot. You are just horny. You like the guy to be in your bed, and it doesn't matter how you would have him. And there is many like that. There's many, they don't have dignity. They don't care. They don't care what you believe in. They don't care who, you know, and they just, and then their life or later will be destroyed. Uh, all right. We have a, a Muslim. He is trying to contact me at a sea. <laughs> He said his father, they will not debate me. Began, I don't know where he's texting me today, what time? Oh, he. this is from uh, from the morning time, so I don't think he is online now. Uh, all right, let's see the front one. Okay, another text uh, from somebody, not a Muslim. Guys, is there any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? Anyone? You know, please, when you ask me a question, I mean, focus with us. We have a topic. We just, we just started, and you are asking me about a different topic. We just started. We have a topic that's very important. This is telling us how evil this man is. Muhammad, he want to give himself, or everything is about Muhammad. Muhammad, he want to give himself permission to lie. To lie to his wives. If this man, he cannot be honest with his own family, how he can be honest with you? And you know, when a Muslim, he says like he is sound like he is being good. Oh, I'm afraid she will leave me if I tell her. So why you get married? Look how he claimed to be decent. To prevent her, he might lie to her to prevent her from becoming upset. <laughs> I mean, look how he care. Obviously, you care a lot. Why you need second wife and why you need third wife and when, do you, when you will stop? And now we have second wife and now we do the same. The second wife, she asked me, can I, did you have a wife? He said, no. Because now what he will do, actually, he will not even tell the second wife that he's married. He will say, I'm single. Because if you are not willing to tell the first one, so she will not leave you, you will not the second one, so she will accept you. Do you see how garbage this religion? This is satanic cult. This is a pure satanic cult. You know, when I was away, uh, you know, uh, I was planning to publish my book in Korea. I met with a Korean publisher, and then I rejected him, even though the guy was desperate to publish my book, just because right away I noticed that he's lying. Even though I accepted not even to make little, little tiny profit, little tiny, just to publish it in Korea, so all Korean they will read it. But the second I notice, and by the way, Korean are very nice people, very decent people, but always there is liars. 
everywhere. The second I noticed, like he said, he said to me, uh, the grammar uh, to fix the grammar will cost uh, five six thousand. Uh, to edit the uh, editing uh, will cost five thousand. I said, what the, what are this guy is talking about? Eleven thousand just to do editing and grammar. Uh, right away I said, no, I don't want him. He's a liar. You cannot trust a liar in anything. I mean, his lies is so obvious. So how you want to do business with such a liar? And how any women she will marry a Muslim? And how anyone can marry a Muslim woman too? Because she will lie to you. I remember we have a neighbor. She changed her couches every few months. She changed the curtains. You go to her house. There is holes in the couches. There is holes. There is a stain on the in the rags. There is. Uh, she throw them and she changed them. My mom, she have, uh, you know, she have all her furniture brand new, still brand new. It's, but old, it's old. It's really old, but still look brand new. The difference is, a Christian woman, she care how her husband make money. She don't want him to spend more for nothing. A Muslim woman, she try her best. My mom, she asked her, why you do that? I mean, you just, why you have cigarette holes in your, uh, those, those just a new, you could bought them six months ago. She said, this is how I can keep him with me. If he get rich, if he get comfortable with the money, he will go and find a new wife. So what they do, they try keep asking and she save money in his back because he can kick her out anytime. So she goes, she buy a set of, of uh, chairs, let us say for uh, uh, 3,000. She tell him it cost me 5,000. She saved 2,000 in her pocket. And then after a few months, they are damaged. Your, your children, they are like monkeys. Look what they are doing. They are the one who did this. Change it. Otherwise, she will give him a hell of a time. I cannot bring my family and uh, friends visit me with those things. Change the furniture. So he keep changing furniture, buying things. Because this is the only way she can keep him not to go and marry the second wife. You know, in the Middle East, we have a statement. They say, a Muslim, if he gets rich, there's one of two things he do. Kill somebody because he have money now. He can pay for his blood. Muslims they have, according to Islam, you can pay the one you kill. It's like by it's like killing a cow. You know, especially if he's a poor, you give his money some money. They drop their right, and you are free, free, totally free. Uh, or he will find a wife. So Muslim women always they try their best to keep their husband spending extremely spending that's why you see muslim women when they're shopping they go extreme spending buying perfume lingerie you know and she convinced him you see don't you want me to see me wearing victoria's secret you know they spend a lot of money for nothing because this is the only way to keep the husband poor the second he gets some money he will find an extra wife she can't trust him to say, I'm not going to marry. As you see, they can lie. They can lie to each other. So she will ask him, did you honey marry? I swear by Allah, I never marry any wife beside you. A very, very ugly, corrupt society. And only women with half a brain, and I say it, Clearly, with half a brain, maybe they don't even have a brain. They will marry someone he believe <laughs> that he have the right to lie to you. This is his rightful right. This is not, he don't feel guilty, he don't feel sinner. He is doing what is right, as you see. So you're lying to your wife, denying having a second wife is lawful. There's no harm in it. 
those evil people, the sheikhs of the Muhammadan, they don't see, and Muhammad himself, they don't see that there is a harm when the man, he lied to his wife as if she is a concrete. Okay, what will happen to this woman when she find that the husband, he have a second wife? She will find out sooner or later. In the Middle East, you hear tons of stories about a woman, she married a man, she is with him for like, let us say 40 years, she is old now. She thinks she is the only wife. When the guy, he have a wife in every town and he divorced him, he kept that woman because she is the mother of like his oldest kids. Let us say this is the house, the main house. Like Muhammad, you know, uh, he, he his, his favorite wife is Aisha. Muhammad, he said that Aisha for him like a tharid. Tharid is like rice, a dish. So Muhammad, he claimed that the, the Aisha is his favorite dish. This is how they see women, dishes. She is nothing but a dish. This guy in this drawing here, he says, oh, there's a vacancy for the fourth one. I hope I can fill it up soon. There's a vacancy. One, two, three. And the blonde is the favorite for the Muhammadan for oh, always. Muhammad is obsessed with white women. As if black women are not beautiful. This is why you see Muhammad, he promised men that when they go to heaven, they will find women who they are whore, which they are so white to the point you can see through the marrow of their bones. And you know how disgusting is that? I mean, who in the world want to see bones? If you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will find reference where Muhammad claiming that when a wife in this earth, she fight with her husband, his wives in heaven, they say to her, which you don't hear them, but they are saying that. Well, you are fighting with him, okay? He is just guest with you. He's coming to us. We will do boom, boom to him. <laughs> what a filthy, disgusting cult. This is religion. And they want to fool you and they try to convert you to Islam. And you know, I, I do not need to explain to you how beautiful it is if your wife, she is like this. That's so beautiful. When Muhammad, he says, you will see the marrow of their bones. Now, for sure at that time, nobody saw such a scene. But this is what Muhammad said. Now we can see it. At that time, maybe you cannot see it. Now we can see it. At that time, maybe it was just an imagine statement. Now we can see it. So imagine your so-called version in heaven is like this, like a jellyfish. If you make her swallow an LED light, she would have a flashlight in her bum. I know this is very tempting. I hope I'm not tempting the single ones. Me, myself, I get in trouble each time I look at this. It's too good, so beautiful. But don't worry, you can lie to them, by the way. You can lie to your wife. She asks you, do you think I'm beautiful? Like Muslim, they call me and they try to explain. Okay, what if your wife, she is ugly and she asks you if she is beautiful, what you will say? Huh? And so, why you marry her <laughs> if she is ugly for you, you idiot? <laughs> I mean, did you marry her like your prophet? He married Khadija just because she have money? Why a person will marry a woman he thinks she is ugly? That's mean when you married her too, you lied to her because she what she is not she is the same. 
if she or if you are saying she got old, well, she you get older too. Uh, sorry, I cannot keep this picture. It's very tempting. You know, look at this position, man. That's that's killing me. That's what the heck is that? She is grabbing something, a hammer, to hit me with it. I don't know why she is extending her hand all the way to the other side. That's very weird. You know, I'm, but it's very tempting. Look, look, you know, even the breast is coming out. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. She is a good Muslim woman. You can see she is coming from heaven. Look, we can see through the marrow of the bones. I can even see the screws. You know, the screws that were holding the bones together. I can see them. I, can, I even see, oh, look, she, she have a hamburger in her stomach. And this is not a hamburger. This is a damn burger. Yeah, something like that, you know. But this is the what the Prophet Muhammad, he promised us. Oh, this is this is bad. This is not, this is very sexual. This is not, oh, look at this one. Uh, it's snow and cold. And I think, I don't know why it's hot in the room. Even though we have a blizzard is coming. Let me open the window, man. This is too much to handle. Prophet Muhammad, look at this one. Look at this one. What I would do now. Guys, I have to go. Sorry. I mean, this is too much for a person, especially young. I mean, you know, the Muslim asked me yesterday, how old are you? I said 17. The guy, he, he, he uh, 17. I'm joking with you, 17. And my mom, she is 17. How old would be 17? I must be 18. You know? But the funny is, the Muslim, they say to you, Christian Prince is lying. When we find that everything in this garbage religion is about lying, you cannot even be honest with your wife. You can't be honest for a second with your wife. So how in the world we can say you have a religion? A man, he can lie to his wife. And the wife, she can lie to her husband. What is the logic of that? She will not be upset? I lied to her so she will not be upset? And look, I'm lying about something very serious. About even marriage. Do we have any Muslim have any comment about his corrupt prophet and his false heaven and his wicked imagination of women in heaven who they are see through bones? You know, in case you are asking yourself, where is where do you get this from the seeing through bones? Let me show you the reference. In the heaven, brother, you will have eighty thousand little boys. If you remember the video, I wish I can play play it for you. You know, but they will they will flag it for copyright. I played this video, which is called Description of Paradise by the Dean Show. I remember a group of uh, of people who they are in the front floor. One of them was really big. You know, let's say, uh, I, like people don't like to use the word fat, but who care? You know, fat, fat. I mean, nothing wrong with that. So he is very big and he was sweating so hard from laughing, he cannot breathe. And then the chairs, you know, we have a, we are, we are doing a seminar in a, in a basketball uh, stadium. So they have plastic chairs and they are flimsy and the guy, he keep moving. And then uh, he finally, he lost his, uh, his uh, balance and he failed when he fall, he opened his hands to balance himself but by doing that he hold the guy next to him and the guy next to him so a bunch of guys we you know fall in the street in the floor just because he was watching the description of heaven video for sure if you watch it by yourself without my comment maybe you will not notice anything but with my commentary people die laughing they, they were really they were suffocated they can't even breathe look at look at muhammad <clears throat> This is a different hadith, but we will go to the one about uh, uh, the last people who of paradise in position is the one with 80,000 slaves. Brother, those are the lowest. Those are the lowest. Do you see Zakir Naik, brother? When he go to heaven, he will have 
80,000 slave boys, little boys, and 72 wives. He will shall have a tent of pearl. I like tent of pearl, to be honest with you. I'm sick of tent. I mean, the guy in different place, he says your house will be brick of gold, brick of silver. And now it's a tent of pearl. Muhammad, Muhammad is a stupid man. He cannot repeat his lie twice without changing the lie. He changed the beginning of the story, the middle of the story, the end of the story. He changed the names of the ones in the story. This would happen when you have a prophet. His name is the praised one. You have to praise him for his stupidity. So Zechariah, he will go there and he will have 80,000 servants. Great prince. First of all, I will have 80,000, but those are beautiful boys. Because I can like what you would what those eighty thousand they will do to you? How many sandwiches you would eat? they will make sandwich for you? What eighty thousand boys would do for you? Good thing, Prince. First of all, I will live with my burden, and they will be there in heaven, and they will make me for wood. Is your prophet? He says to you that if you see a bird in the sky, you wish it it would be cooked in your dish. So what the servant for? Good thing, Prince. You are ignorant. In the Quran, it said that they will serve us with cups full of wine. Ah, those are the bar boys. Exactly. And why they are boys and they are so white? What the point? Because we like white boys and we like white women. Everybody in this heaven is white. Even the servant. Muhammad is so white. The Muslim will be so white. The women, they are so white to the point we can see through their bones. And the boys, they are so white. This is what the Quran says. And then Muhammad, he said, let us go to different uh, hadith, 72,000. And look at that, uh, the details. Uh, where is the hadith about? Uh, hold on. Here we go. This is a hadith in Arabic, and this is the hadith in, in English. The prophet, the prophet of Prophet Muhammad, who make a prophet from being a prophet, said the first batch of the people who enter paradise will be glittering. You know, they will be so white, not only just white, they will be glittering white, like a full moon. And the second batch of them will be glittering like most a brilliant star. But do you see the stupidity? I mean, which one is more white and bright, the moon or a star? Eh, when the donkey talk, what you expect? Muhammad, do you think that the moon is more bright from the star? All right. Their heart will be as if the heart of a single man. You Muslims have a heart? If you have a heart, you will not go for the first one, second one, third one. You know, I keep changing wives. What heart you have? You don't have a heart. You go by your heart is your testicles. That's why you believe in Islam. They will have neither enmity or jealousy. Okay. Uh, they will not have jealousy. Who, who are they? They will not have jealousy. The Muslim men? Jealousy from what? That's weird. Are you going to do sex to change? Like you you take his wife, he gave you his wife? Group sex? What do you mean is it a jealousy between whom? How? And then he says, among themselves, everyone will have two wives from the Huris. Look, Muhammad changed the number. It was 72 Huris. Now they are 72, but two of the Huri only. The rest is from the inheritance of hellfire, which means hookers who will be so beautiful, pure, transparent, that the marrow of their bones, the bones of their legs, will be seen through the bone of the flesh. And brother, that's what we are talking about. And now you go to heaven, your, your wife there, she will be bones, jellyfish, and she will lie to you. And you will lie to her. She asks you, honey, am I sexy? And you say, sure, I swear by Allah, you look, don't look like a jellyfish. The Prophet of Allah, he taught us how to lie to each other. Let us, let us practice lying. 
So based on what we just learned, how many lies a Muslim he do lie to his wife a day? How many lies a Muslim woman she lied to her husband a day? How this is can be God teaching? Do we have any Muslim? How this can be God teaching? Just a simple question. A Muslim, he cannot trust his wife. A wife, she cannot trust her husband. And then I lie to my friends. I lie to my enemy. Who is left? Nobody. And not only that, they have something called taqiyya. This is different from taqiyya now. Taqiyya is a professional line used to lie to non-Muslims, even to Muslims, by the way. You will see two sheikhs debating in Arabic. So one of them, he said to the other one, don't practice taqiyya on me. <laughs> Imagine two Muslim sheikhs, one of them he said to the other one, are you going to practice taqiyya with me now? You know, are you going to practice the tricks of Islam with me? You cannot do that. I'm, you know, I know everything. You can do those things with those Christians, those Jews, those Hindus who do not know. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us live on air? And explain to us how good it is to lie to your wife and how good it is how it feels when your wife she lied to you you know muslims muslim families are extremely broken if you go and see like you know you guys you don't speak arabic but if you know arabic you go watch al arabiya tv all those tv stations muslim saudi tv stations they have tons of programs about how horrible life is of a families and muslim families you know, there's a story uh, uh, in, in, in Saudi Arabia. This guy, he is a very, very, very religious. And he have bars over his windows. He have a steel door for his front door. He don't allow phones. No phones. He have a phone. When he go out of the house, he take the phone, he put it in the cupboard, and he lock it. So his wife, she cannot call when he is not there. His wife, she cannot accept visitors unless he is there, which means at home. So for a couple of months, a woman, she come to the house when the husband is there. She knock at the door. She don't talk. She's wearing a veil. The husband, he opened the door. He is very religious. He's a good man, not like Muhammad. So he put his head down and he say, hey, honey, come. Your friend is coming to you. So the wife, she come and she take her friend as all Muslim women do, to her private room. The husband is not allowed to sit with them because she is a strange woman. So for six months, even the husband being so nice because the wife, she don't go out. He don't allow her to go out. She's in jail. So when she have a friend, he bring fruits, he bring coffee, tea. He put them next to the door and he knock from far away. He say, honey, I made tea for you. Thank you, thank you, honey. Okay, I will take it. After a few months of the friend visiting more than six months, his sister, she came to visit. And now the sister, she's a female, so she can't go to the room. So he told his sister, oh, get in. My wife, she have a friend with her, the usual friend. Get in. The sister, she went there. She found a guy doing boom, boom to his wife. So you lock the door. You have a steel door. You have bars over the windows. You have no phone. She cannot talk to anybody. How in the world she was able to communicate with the guy? What she do, she speak in the phone when he is there with the guy, speaking to her friend. <laughs> and then... <laughs> She come wearing a veil. And this is the benefit of the veil, by the way. I mean, you can go to the house of the devil and the devil will not know it's you. Just wear a veil. <laughs> Do we have any Muhammadan here? 
any beautiful Muhammadan would like to tell us about why you can lie to your wife? Huh? Any Muhammadan? Why I can lie to my wife? Give me the benefit. And why the wife, she can lie to you? And what kind of society? What is exactly the relationship? But is it really a wife and husband in Islam or just a sex contract? Do you really Muslims have a real marriage? Or it is just a pure sex contract? All what I see, and I may I said that million times, most of them they don't have marriage, they have nikah, which is sex contract. And because it's a sex contract, the contract is you are hired to sleep with the man. You don't have a right to ask him who he sleep with. You are just the same as a prostitute. You get paid for it. <laughs> and when the husband he decided to let you go I apologize my voice is not doing good I don't know why I think I, you know before I go live I was I have four wives as you know five six sorry forgot too many anyway but I, I was lying to them and I lost my voice man I mean it's too much lying and those women they keep asking you questions and you have to lie like one of them she asked me how many of the ones who subscribe to your channel, they are females? How in the world I will know? How I will know? So I gave her a number. I told her only one. Just only one? You have 97, 98,000. Only one female? Okay, what about those admins? Look, one her name is Typey. She have a female picture? I said no. She is a FBI agent undercover. <laughs> she is not. She's a man. What about Tamara? Tamara? She's a boxer player. What are you talking about? This is a guy, but is using a beautiful picture of a female. They do that, you know, undercover, undercover. Okay. What about uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Carolina? They said her name is Carolina. This is the state of Carolina. What's wrong with you? She is not a male or female. It's a state. This is a state herself. The government is chatting. This is not a person. This is the account of the government. What's wrong with you? Okay, what about Lisa? Uh, Lisa, you know, Lisa, you know, uh, which one is Lisa? The, uh, she is not here, obviously. Her, 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 her uh, I mean, her, 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 his wife, she's delivering her baby now. That's why she uh, is, I mean, he is not here, you know. Okay, so, you know. See, see, I'm innocent. All of them, they are male. Okay, this is the benefit of lying. And now she is calm and she is happy and she is excited. You see how you can fix a relationship with people? Do you see the wisdom of a prophet of Allah? This is the true wisdom. This is a true prophet. So the prophet, he have 13 wives. He go from door to door. Uh, you know, and uh, he lied to them. What a wonderful prophet. 13 women. He practiced his skills. Do we have any Muhammadan want to call us? Shadow girl. She is, uh, sorry, it's not she. This is a guy, okay? I'm talking to one of my wives. Shadow girl is not our guy. It's this guy. Okay, this is a guy who is he became a shadow of his girl, his girlfriend. Okay, it's another girl. Yeah, because uh, guys, come on, change your names. So Shadow girl said, a, a "Christian Prince is the best storyteller." What story? Those are real stories. You know, what are you talking about? This is not a story. This is a life story. I'm telling you through experiment. Yeah. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Nobody? No Muhammadan have an objection? 
Nobody want to call me and say, Christian Prince, you're a liar? I mean, come on. What happened? Do you remember the guy who called me uh, yesterday? <laughs> you know? You misrepresent Islam. The guy was so sure. And then he want to teach me as an example how the baby is made, as an example, where the sperm is coming from. As an example, not, not limited. <laughs> And then after talking to him for some time, he said there's nothing wrong with saying that the sperm coming from the backbone. Hmm? And nothing wrong with the women have a sperm coming from her ribs. What's wrong with that? I mean, those people, they don't lie at all. Can you believe it? There is somebody who live in Europe and uh, he speak perfect English like not me. I'm an immigrant. I mean, he's an immigrant. Obviously, he's a Pakistani, maybe. But I mean, he grew up there. He speak good English. Do you think that this guy, he went to school, he did not learn really how the baby is formed or uh, it happened to have a baby? Besides like, you know, your mom, she found you next to the chimney. Didn't know? So now they come and they say, what's wrong with the women? She have a sperm coming from her ribs. Ah, uh, but before I finish, I saw some Muslim tweet just to show you how how, how awkward those Muhammadan. Macy's he did wear what we call it a bisht, you know, an Arabic bisht. You call it abaya. Abaya is the same, but this is the bisht is the the golf name, the golf word. The victory of Islam against Islamophobia. Congratulations, Argentina. Why? What happened? How that? Uh, what does have to do with Islamophobia, Bobia? What the heck is that? It turned to be that because uh, Macy's he did wear the abaya, the Muslims they are saying he is a Muslim. He is a Muslim. I mean, the guy he they gave him a abaya. The prince of Qatar who is a pervert, they gave him a abaya, and now the Muslims they are posting in Twitter. Yes, Macy is a hero of Muslims. What the heck, this guy he kicked the ass of you all. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Muslim hero now. <laughs> and look what she is wearing. I mean, look at the. I mean, this is a Muslim girl now. What happened? Her name is Sehar. Sehar Shanawari. Uh, and look at this Abdul here. This is another Abdul. <clears throat> I love Abdul, man. They are the best. This Abdul, he said, let me zoom in. Hold on. <laughs> Watch Muslim Twitter go wild over this. I can see it already. Macy's embrace Islam. Look how that happened. <laughs> First of all, Abdul, the Christian, when they pray, they pray like that. And all, all, even the Buddhas, they put their hands like this way. So the guy, he just wear a abaya. He became a Muslim. And it was a gift in the front of everybody. I mean, they are, they, ha, they are suffering from depression. And look, who is the one who is saying that it's a female Muslim too? They have a thing for the guy. They are dreaming about him. Every Muslim woman, she want to take him, you know. Watch, watch Muslim Twitter go wild over this. I can see it. It already misses in Britain. Maybe I should make a video just to spare about it, just for love, just for comedy, maybe tomorrow. What a crazy cult. And then, you know, the guy, Macy's, there is a, actually, I saw this, uh, you know, in, a, in an Indian video. Uh, so an Indian guy, I think he is getting them busted. Maybe he's a Hindu, I'm not sure. He told them, you idiot, don't you see the guy? When he take off his t-shirt, what happened? They have a tattoo of Jesus on his shoulder. You're a bunch of donkeys. The guy he was, drawing the cross before the end of the game just five minutes ago <laughs> just less than 10 minutes before the game is over the guy was drawing the cross in his face 
the, the, the filthy prince of Qatar, he gave him a gift in front of everybody, which is a abaya. He guy, he wear the abaya, they made him a Muslim. Hmm. They are so desperate. They are so unbelievable. But I mean, if a guy, he can lie to his wife and the wife, she can lie to her husband, why they will not lie in Twitter? I mean, if the husband, this is Macy's, the guy Macy's, I don't care for those. I mean, I mean, you know, the, but Muslim, they worship celebrity, you know, they literally, literally, they worship celebrity. Those people have a mental issue. They are so, so insecure. You see, when a religion focus, uh, uh, focus in, uh, uh, in in such a thing, this is telling you how much desperate they are. Somebody saying, "Messi ba thariqahu lo kan batal la khala ala abaya fauran, walakin yadhar anhu in in." Anyway, this is a, this is a, a this guy saying if he is a hero he should take it off right away why why he would take it off this guy he do not know what we are talking about he don't know about the Muslim he do not know about Islam he know that those the Arab they wear this and this is the Prince of Qatar gave him a gift why he would not wear it and he took it off people are very weird man they start judging the guy why you don't take it off why he will take it off why he will take it off. People are honoring him, you know, in the Arabic tradition, when somebody, he gave you such a gift, and for sure this gift is very expensive. I'm sure this abaya is made, or bisht is made, you see the line is made from gold. Uh, the, the, the abaya itself mostly is going to be made from silk. So this is a very expensive gold, uh, uh, a gift. So they are honoring him. What does this have to do with religion? We are talking about this guy, and this guy, he have no idea, by the way, what we are talking about. This is all in just a stupid Twitter, and you know, because we, we are the one who deal with this Abdul. But this guy, he, he fought at the whole religion. Do we have any Muhammadan here? By the way, a lot of Christians, they wear abaya too. Muslims are idiots. They do not know what we are talking about. A lot of Christians, they wear abaya. They wear Arabian clothing, and they are Arab donkeys. They don't know what they are talking about. He should give it after he get the, you know, come on, yeah. Yeah. People, they start telling the guy what to do. If you are in his place, you will be so happy, so excited, you forget about what you are even wearing. And what's wrong with wearing the abaya? I will keep it. And not only that, I will be proud. I went to the heart of the Muslim nations. I took the, 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 the gold from their heart and I brought it back to my country. There we go. And now he is coming back and, you know, everybody is proud of him. And just to show you, you know, how, how those, uh, I mean, this game is really, by the way, uh, I feel sorry for many people from Argentina. I heard some people, they sold their cars to go to the game. Some people, they even sold their houses. People are stupid. People do stupid things. But obviously, football in Argentina is something big. You know, for us, we are just, you know, for them, those people, they go crazy. You know, I saw a video about how excited they are. So obviously, for them, it's like, uh, you know, it's something different. Uh so you need to understand the culture and the people before you judge them. For them, this is the biggest accomplishment. For me, it's a joke. But maybe if I'm born in that country, I will be doing the same. So don't be, don't be a person who, uh, uh, who, who judge. But Muslims always lie. I'm sure that time will come. And when I die, the Muslim, they will say, Christian Prince, when he was dying, he put his finger up and he converted to Islam. Uh, Andrew, don't don't block BMB when he's speaking Arabic. 
Don't block him. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muhammadan? You know, many people, because they are naive, they think that wearing Arabian clothes is a is a bad thing. This, and this is a clothes. What what does this have to do with the... And we are not against somebody because he's an Arab. We are not against our people because they are from a country. Who care for those things? Yeah, don't give him a time out. He's a Christian and he is speaking Arabic because the language he... he don't worry, I, I will take care of the Arabic. Do we have any Muhammad in here? Anyone? Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> when you die, how they will know that you died? Very simple, don't worry. I will come from the grave, I will open my Skype. I, I will take my phone with me in my grave. I have Wi-Fi. I told them when I die in my grave, please, I want the Wi-Fi. Actually, the grave I, I told them to bury me in, uh, the neighbor there is closed, they have a Wi-Fi, and already I know the password, you know? I went to the house and I told them, I just want to send, you know, like a message. Can I get your password for the Wi-Fi, you know? And now I have it. So they bury me, I can text you on YouTube. I tell you guys, I'm sorry, I'm dead, you know, just uh, listen to somebody else. The guy is worried now how he will find out that I'm dead. Yeah. People are worried, what you can say. <laughs> you know, when I when I was serving in the army, so I stayed away for some time. And then I came back, you know, they give you a, a good vacation. Uh, so anyway, I came back and then I found a chat room in Pat Talk saying celebrating the death of a Christian prince. So the Muslim they spread rumors that the Christian prince, he died by car accident or something like that, you know. Like he, he, the guy is dead, that's it. And there is a chat room, the name of it, celebrating the death of a Christian prince. Uh, uh, if I stay away for some time, they will claim that I'm dead. You know it. You know? Otherwise, where do you go? I know all of us one day we will die, but anyway, you know I have uh, I have tons of thousands of videos. Those they will never die. I have my books, and more books will come. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, all a human being they they live for a period of time, and then there is time to go. But those who write books and those who have an, a lot of uh, uh, service, and thanks to God, now we have the internet, and we have YouTube. You have tens of thousands of my videos. Nobody can count how videos, how many videos I have. So, if the Muslim think they can get rid of me when I die, you are mistaken. Because I have my books, I have my videos, and you will hear my voice, I promise you, after I die. You can't stop it. And now my books is translated to all languages almost. I mean Spanish, Russian, Chinese, Indian, there's many Indian language, Indonesian, Pharisees, uh, Albanian, uh, uh, Spanish, German, French, uh, you name it. My friend, don't tell me there's a person who challenge you. I'm not a blind. The one who want to challenge me, he can text me in Skype. Leave that to me. Don't say, this guy is a challenge in you. Here we go, my Skype is open. If this guy is serious, he will text me. You guys, you get excited, there is a guy who wanna debate me, obviously he's a joker. My Skype is open, nobody texts me. Don't worry about it. That may keep posting, this is CP Skype. So if this guy is serious, he will text me. So don't post, we are not blind.
I mean, I don't have four wives to be blind. Stop talking like this. What's wrong with talking about death? You know, white people, they fear talking about death. For me, I don't care. I didn't die today. Who care? <laughs> Actually, I noticed that people who they are attached to life, they die faster. People who they are really afraid of it, they go faster. I have a friends, they used to be hiding during the war. They never carry a gun. They never face a risk in their life. They don't even go in the bus because buses are not good. They might have accident and they died. And I am the guy who used to go a lot of trouble. I carry guns. I have fights. And I am here. You seek, you seek life, you die. Because when you are a person who have a phobia from death, you are dead already because you're afraid, you're scared, you can't do anything. You are dead. Those who fear death, they are dead already. It's the same as somebody he fear viruses. What he do? He keep washing his pillow every every day. He have to change the pillow in the morning. Every day he have to change the sheets. Every day in the morning. What 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 happened? You know what happened in the sheet today? I mean, if it's uh, if you live in a very sweaty country, I would say okay, but there's a there's a limit. He have to take a shower in the morning. Shower after two hours. Shower after three hours. His hands, anything he touch, he have to wipe it out. He have wipes in his pocket all the time. You know, you, you don't have a life, you are dead. And not only that, you get sick faster because now you don't give your body the opportunity to practice fighting. You know, when, when armies, they do war game, this is what your body do too. Your body needs some verse, you know, just some germs to get inside your body so they can practice. The white cells in your body, they need to go and do training. Abaya mean uh, something you throw in the top of, uh, it's like a coat, but it's open. This is what uh, Macy's was wearing. This is what Abaya is. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan? And this is why Islam is so dead. You know, Islam... What Islam do, Islam is like a person who have a phobia from, let us say, germs. So Islam teach Muslims that anything else is a germ. So the second they see it, they forbid the Christian, they forbid the Bible, they forbid the Buddhists, they forbid the Hindus, they forbid philosophy, they forbid the music, they forbid the movie, they forbid, they forbid everything because they knew that this religion cannot stand any of this. And then when the internet came and Islam exposed horribly, and those who have knowledge start sharing their knowledge, Islam is collapsing. It's an avalanche. The Muslims, they start killing anyone who oppose Islam from the beginning and until now, because Islam is so weak. Islam need protection. Islam need government protection. How many times we showed you an email I received from YouTube, the government of Pakistan. I mean, this is a country, people are poor, people are struggling. The, the last flood destroyed the economy of the country. And now they have departments just, just to watch videos of a Christian prince. The government of Pakistan, I mean, is, aren't you ashamed? A country have nukes. They are worried about my video. What my video will do to Pakistan it will destroy Pakistan because Pakistan have Islam and Islam will collapse. This is because they are weak. You will never hear, you will never hear that there's a country, you know, have a Christians or even Hindus or even Buddhas, they send the message like India. Here we go. Many times I spoke about things I don't like in Hinduism, but I never received from YouTube that the government of India, they ban my videos. 
I mean, don't you have a shame? But because they knew Islam is so stupid, and then when the Muslim they listen to me, they will find out how stupid Islam is, and this is why it's so dangerous. Islam literally is stupid. Look at this. I mean, who in the world? Uh, those Muslims they are reading those books for a centuries after a century after a century, but nobody asks himself how in the world those women in heaven they will look like this, and why. Why my wife in heaven, she will look like this. When Muhammad, he said, they are transparent, they are so white to the point we can see the marrow of their bones. Not only we see the bones, we see the marrow. Did any Muslim go and search for x-ray picture? And then you will see how stupid what your prophet promising you. So you Muslim, you go and you do jihad and you join ISIS and Al-Qaeda for this? A jellyfish? Aren't you going to vomit? What the heck is that? And why the first group who enter heaven, they will be so white? What if I like to be black? What if I like to be Asian? What the problem? Why we cannot go as a human, whatever our race is? Why all of us, we will turn to be like white? This is a heaven for white people. The women we will sleep with, they are white. Even the servant, they are white. Everybody is white. Muhammad is speaking to people of the desert and they are obsessed with white women. So he promised them what their obsession is about. You know, when you go in the Quran, <laughs> And you look at the heaven of Muhammad. Look at this. Do you know, as long as we are talking about this, do you know that in the heaven of Allah there is no light? Do you know that? You see the Muslim, they, in translation, they say is, Executive heat that's false in Arabic it says they will never see in it a sun did you ask yourself why Muhammad saying that in his heaven there's no sun any Muslim can tell us they love to lie when they translate it says, you will never see the sun in my heaven. Why? Look at the translation. Like, look, neither ex ex uh, uh, excessive, excessive heat. But this is not what it says. It says, لا يرون فيها شمسا. They will not see in it sun. In the translation, they lie. Those are Arab who live in the desert and they hate the sun. Look, they are adding the word heat when the Quran never said the word heat. You can take this sentence and translate. You will see it says they never see the sun. The Arab, they hate the sun. This is why they worship the moon god. The sun is the one who killed their grass, their animals, the one who destroyed them, the one who dried their water, the one is so hot, so annoying, the one who made the sand boiling 
and we cannot even walk in it. So what we like? We like the night. And the Muslim, they lie in all the translation. Actually here, I don't know why this guy is being a little bit honest. He said, therein they shall recline upon couches. Therein they shall see neither the sun nor bitter cold. Do you see it? Finally, we find one of them, he have little decency. Do you see it? There's no sun. Why we don't have a... We will not see the sun. So what will we see? The Muslim, what will we see? Darkness? The heaven of Allah in darkness? And this is why he said, don't worry, it's not going to be cold. Because now we have no sun. We will not see sun because those Arab, they hate the sun. And this is why the white women, by the way, is important for them. You see, when, when a woman, she is spoiled, she is from a rich family, she don't go out during the sun time. She have servants, she have slaves. She's always covered in her house. So she will not get dark in her skin. This is, what, this is why they are obsessed with the white. So the white women is a spoiled woman. The women who go out and work, she will get dark skin. And Muslims don't like that. And Muhammad promising them. This is why all his heaven is about things is good for someone who live in the desert. If Muhammad live in Europe, he will promise you the opposite. He will promise your son. Until now, we have zero Muhammadan to call us. Just to remind you, we will be, uh, we will join together in the Christmas Eve mostly and the Christmas Day. I don't know, you choose one, which one you like me to be in. And we will be here, so, and we will take calls from Christians around the world. And this is what is beautiful about what we do here. As you see, we have a Christians from everywhere. We have a Christians from Muslim countries. We can we call them Muslim countries, but the fact they are not Muslim countries. Uh, we have Christians from around the world, from Asia, Indonesia, uh, uh, you know, India, Europe, America, you know. So all of us, we are a family. Glory to the Lord. And all of us, we are victorious by knowledge and by faith. We are not like the Muslims, blind. A blind cannot lead a blind, my friend. Even the Quran, even the stupid Quran, trying to be wise, supposedly. Muhammad, he says, is the blind is the same as the, as the one who can see? Look who is talking. A person who did not learn how to read, how to write. Say, can the blind be held equal to the one is seen? Will you consider? <laughs> Look who is talking. A person who is teaching us that we should not respect black people. A person who taught us that when God created Adam, he struck him in his right shoulder and from there he created the white race. And the white race who came from the right shoulder of Adam he told them, you go to heaven, and I don't care. And he struck the left shoulder of Adam, and the black of spring came like charcoal. And he said to the one from the right shoulder, you go to paradise, which means the white, and I don't care. And he said to those who they are from the left shoulder, which means the black people, you go to hell, and I don't care. This is the one is talking about blind. A person racist against the Asian, against everybody except the white. 
a person who think that woman she have a sperm coming from her ribs and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone a person who think that the sun set in murky water a spring of water and the sun rise in a certain place a person who claim that there is God who told Alexander the Great to build the dam between us and between people who they are called Gog and Magog and their percentage or ratio for us is 1000 to 1 which means from every one human there is 1000 of Gog and Magog where are they this is the guy who will teach us about blind and seeing the one who says you can light your wife and the wife she can light your husband as we see and we showed you in the screen who is the blind oh Muhammad is not a blind he is the devil and the devil is not a blind the devil he blind people Do we have any Muhammadan here? Last call, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Muslim had the black king, name for me one. Who is the Muslim black king, my friend? I want to understand how people, they say things. Muslim, they had a black king, name for me, one Arab nation. They have a black king. Never. Never. In fact, the first time, the first time ever, the Muslim, they have a Muslim leading the prayer in Mecca. It was when Obama was elected. The king of Saudi Arabia did because now they want to show that, oh, the Christian, they elected Obama. Okay. 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 First time ever a person who lead the prayer in Mecca is a black person. And not even for a few months, they kicked him out. Just for a few months. What a black king? Where is the black king? In Africa, they are African. You will never find an Arab nation they ever had a black king. Never. There is a video made by the Muhammadan. It's called the description of the Prophet of Allah. Search it. Mufti, uh, not Mufti Mink, other person. Let me search it. Let me find it for you. All the video is talking about how white Muhammad is. How, how pretty, how pretty Prophet Muhammad as a white man. I'm not going to play the video, but you can watch it. A man, he was walking at night, and he saw Prophet Muhammad. And because the Prophet Muhammad is so white, hilarious white, the guy, he, looked, he said, oh, look at this. Let me see who is more handsome. The moon or Prophet Muhammad? And then the guy here, you will see almost is crying because he is he's so emotional. The Prophet is more sexy. The man, he said, he looked at the moon, he looked at the Prophet, he looked at the moon, he looked at the Prophet, he looked at the moon, he looked at the Prophet, he looked at the moon, he looked at the Prophet, he looked at the moon, he looked at the Prophet, he looked at the moon, and he looked at the Prophet, and he said, oh, oh. The prophet is more white. This is the video. Who is Prophet Muhammad? His description. Search it. If you don't believe me, go watch it. He look at the moon, he look at the prophet. He look at the moon, he look at the prophet. You will never sign find one a Christian, one a Christian person talking how handsome was Jesus. Why want to talk about that? Who care? Are we following him because he's handsome? You will not find one Christian book speaking about white Jesus or black Jesus or Asian Jesus. 
only in Islam how wide he was. You will find tons of reference about how he white, how white his belly bum, how white his under his arm, how white his thigh, how white his ass, how white his face, how white his chest. And not only that, if you search right now, let me do this. The descendant of a prophet Muhammad. No, I'm typing in Arabic. Hold on. You will find nothing but red head people. Look at the descendant of Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Look at this. But the most, uh, the, the most weird, I mean, <laughs> those are the descendant of Prophet Muhammad, brother. Isn't it amazing? Oh, I found another descendant of Muhammad. Here we go. You know this guy. He have he have some muscles in his, uh, and he keep going naked everywhere. <laughs> you know, even the Muslims they claim that the Queen of England she is descendant of Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Historian believe that the queen's descendant of the founder of Islam. Some, somebody saying the Sadat Egypt is the lastest. My friend, Egypt is an Egyptian, is in, is in Africa. Uh, are you are you uh, you are weird atheist Muslim, my friend? Egypt is an African country, not an Arab country. Somalia is an African country, is not an Arab country. You will never find one Muslim Arab country have ever a black president or king. Don't even think about it. So you are saying to me, an Egyptian became a, a president? He's an Egyptian. He's one of them. So what is new of that? Weirdo. <laughs> a Moroccan became the king. He's a Moroccan. When I say black, for the Arab, that means he is not from their ethnic or their group. The Arab are white. They are not black people. And if there is a black people who live in Arabia, those are the slaves, the descendant of slaves. Not a black country. Okay, if it's not a black country, why the Sadat is a black? Why he's a black? Is Egypt in Africa? Is Egypt in Africa? Very weird people. Why we cannot find ever? Like you see in India, they made a president, he's a Muslim. But are you going to find a Hindu become a president in Pakistan? There is Hindus in Pakistan. The Indian, the Indian and the majority are Hindus. They had a president before he was a Muslim, not just a few years ago. But you will never find such a thing in a Muslim country. Uh, 
uh, Egyptian they have light skin my friend it's light for you yeah I mean they are considered they are not considered as a, a black as a black but there is some Egyptian depending on your location they are very black like if you are from Aswan I will I will I will give you an example we have a friend of ours of mine his name is Osama Dakdok Osama Dakdok is an Egyptian Coptic an Egyptian Coptic are the real Christians the real Egyptian do he look for you white so don't give me speeches yes you are not black but you are not white either there is some because you know Egypt was occupied by the Roman occupied by the French occupied you know I mean there's many English sorry and uh, even German I think they went there the Albanian etc so there's there's a lot of mix but Egypt is an African country and because you are closed and you are in the border of Asia this is why your skin is lighter than other African but that changed nothing except that you are still African so if Osama Dakdok he become a president of Egypt for sure he will never be because he's a Christian are you going to say he's a black? He's not. But there is different level of colors in Egypt because the, depending on the location, there is some locations, people are darker. The more you go deep in Asia, I mean in, in Africa, sorry, like, you know, uh, or you go to the borders of, uh, 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 you know, uh, close to Ethiopia, you know, like Sudan, sorry, then Aswan, etc., areas like even the borders with, with Libya, you will have a people who they are way darker than those who live in Alexandria or in Cairo, etc. But anyway, <clears throat> the topic is you will not find one black president ruling over Arab. Never. Uh, for a very simple reason, because they are racist. Do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone want to start speaking something filthy? I'm going to send you free shipping and handling. Watch your mouth. Do we have any Mohammedan? And I find it very silly when somebody he tried to object and he say, oh, the president of Egypt, actually even as said that he was not really black. You know, even when they say that Obama was a black, he is not. Do you know what black mean? Go check what the black mean. Like right now, they say to us, the vice president is a woman of color. What is color about her? It's just for propaganda. <laughs> Obama, his mother, she is blonde. So how the son will become black? You will take 50-50 from your parents. He have a lighter skin. If you look at Biden, vice president, according to the Democrat, she is a black. <laughs> what is a black about her? A woman of color. What does that mean? I mean, this country is hilarious, by the way. Oh, look, this is Biden. He is doing his what he do best. <laughs> he's he's holding Hillary Clinton. And by the way, Hillary Clinton is black too. I mean, in the politics today, everything is possible. Trump was black, by the way. Ivanka Trump. 
I mean, if they are Democrat, they will make them black. That's just so, you know, just wait. Yeah, this is a woman of color. Look at this. They keep saying TV, a woman of color, a woman of color, a woman of color. And I was saying, where is the color we are talking about? What does that mean exactly? And actually, always you will notice that those who they are racist, they focus on the color. Because they cannot see you without your color. Who care for her color? Show me what she can do. Here we go. We have Joe Biden. He is white. But this is the most stupid president ever we had. Color. Who cares for the color? They try to fool people for, for the sake of a propaganda agenda. They want to make African people vote for them. So they convince them that we are the one. Look, we have a woman of color. Woman of color. Oh boy. Do we have any Muslim uh, want to tell us anything about our topic today? And don't worry, we don't care for your color. We have the most priceless president right now, to the point he even caught Prophet Muhammad. And what he caught, he caught the, the hadith about jihad. So he, he wanted the, he want the, the Al-Qaeda to kill us. He says, the Prophet, he says, if somebody sees something wrong, he should change it by his hand. This idiot, he's asking the Muslim to do jihad. Hmm. Because he have a best advisors. They told him you should say that, you know. We have a few Muslims in this country. He's worried about them. He want to make them vote for him. Uh, do you know Isaiah says he has no beauty? Uh, my friend, you understand Isaiah very wrong. <clears throat> Messiah. And they say, well, he have, you know, uh, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Uh, this is not about the beauty of, uh, of a look. Go and read, learn how to read. The man who's talking is a man. Isaiah is a man. It's not a female. <laughs> Do you think Isaiah is going to desire a man? <laughs> You know, I like it when some Christian they try to explain the verses in the in the in the in a very childish way. You know, there is no beauty that we should desire him, which means he is coming from a very humble family. There is no temptation around him, no money, no authority, no kings, no princes, no servants, no slaves. He's a man. Nobody speaks. The beauty of a man is how much money he have, how much power he have, how much uh, control he have, how much Im impact he have, because he's born of a society like noble family, uh, uh, who they are so rich. He have servants, soldiers, slaves. Jesus, he was born in the cradle. So don't treat as you wish. And explain as you wish. Otherwise, you will end in my dish. Anyway. <clears throat> and don't say things without studying carefully. Always. Check it out. You know, beauty, when we speak about the beauty of a woman, beauty of a woman is a beauty of a woman. She's a woman. But when you speak about a man, we don't say the same. And for sure, depend in, your, in the translation you read, you know, you have, you know, there's no beauty 
and there is no glory of not the glory like a, a shiny stuff you know baha to look at uh You know, Jesus, he dressed very humble. He lived very humble. He don't. He never owned a horse. He never owned a donkey. He never had a servant. He never had a maid. He never had a palace. He never had even anything. So nothing will be desired on him. Even women, when they desire a man, the first thing the man he can provide me with, uh, you know, with what women she want, uh, money, clothes, gold, silver. This is not about a look, but people, they can understand as they wish. <clears throat> Do we have any Mohammedan last call? May they, may they. Nobody? What happened today? Where is everybody? <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? Who is a Muhammadan when to practice lying to us? It's your chance, your opportunity. Until now, we have our Skype open and zero Muslim contact us. Anyone? And they are so sure from their religion, and uh, you know I think they are busy looking at the picture I just showed about Muhammad. He promised them to be in heaven, to have in heaven. I don't blame them. If I am a Muslim, I will be busy now looking at this. Look how beautiful it is. So beautiful. I cannot thank Allah enough for his promises. I mean, how you know that God is true or not? Look at this. He promised us women, we can see through the bones. It must be from God. Only God can do that. You know, he stripped them from the meat, he can see through. By the way, Muslims, is he going to change their nature or he going to change our eyes? According to your prophet, he will change their nature, not our eyes. So we will, you know, you Muslim, you will still, still blind. You see nothing. But he changed the nature of those women, so you see through. But I don't know they are different. Jellyfish, they can shine at night because they have a phosphor inside them. So let us say the women, she is see-through, but you are in a dark room. Still, you can see nothing. You can see totally nothing. You need a light. There is no sun in heaven. Any Muhammadan? Yeah, that's what the Quran says. The Quran says there is no sun in heaven. You know, there is no sun. The Muslim will not see any sun in heaven. Where is the verse? I like it when we say a verse as if the Quran is a book of scriptures, a verse. Chapter 76, verse number 13. You shall neither see sun in heaven. So how she is see through, and you will be able to see it. Because still you need light. Are you going to use that LED flashlight? Or maybe the woman, she you will feed her phosphor. Maybe Allah will give you a spray, a phosphor spray, but still you need light. 
You know the funny things about, about the Quran. In this verse here, it says, you will never see the sun in the heaven. And then Allah, he speaks in different verse says, that there is a shade in the heaven. My internet is being hacked. No, don't worry, nobody can hack me. Good luck. Uh, all those verses in the Quran is speaking about shade in heaven. So how we don't have a sun and we have a shade? Any Muslim can tell us? Any Muhammadan? Chapter 36 says, you and your wife will be sitting happy reclining in your in your in your couches not the thrones under the shade but there's no sun how i'm going to have a shade when there's no sun any muhammadan it's just another stupid thing of muhammad as usual Shade, sun, you know. Do we have bees in heaven? Because we will have river of, uh, of honey. Who's making the honey? We have a river of milk. Who's making the milk? Like there is at the end of the river, like a million cow, billion cow, making milk, milking themselves. Or maybe the milk is coming from the Milky Way. Any Muhammadan? I mean, you have a prophet to order women, Muslim women, to give their breast, to do breastfeeding for adult. I'm sure Allah will find a solution. And the funny, the women, she is not really that young to give milk because she have no milk, you know. You know, women, they are not a goat. Even goat, they don't have milk all the time. You know, uh, you order a woman to give her breast to an adult. And this woman, she cannot have kids. She cannot have kids. This is why her husband adopted a son. And now she is older. We don't know how old exactly, but obviously she cannot have kids. So she was going to feed him what? He will suck her nipple, sucking what? Maybe Muhammad and they think that women, they have a faucet and they have a milk in there all the time. You put your, your mouth there in the nipples, you squeeze it, milk will come. If this is the case, I will get married right away. Why I want to make yogurt? I'm buying milk from... Walmart and making yogurt at home. This way, if I have a wife, every day she can squeeze them. We get like two kilos of milk. We make it yogurt, halal yogurt, whole milk with vitamin, etc. What kind of religion is a prophet ordering women to give their breast to strangers? And this was a verse. In not a single Muslim remembered the verse. All what they knew, there was a verse about breastfeeding for adult. Okay, what happened? The goat ate it. Okay, the goat ate the verse. Did she eat the memory of all the Muslims? How come you remember that there is a goat who ate the verse, which is about breastfeeding for adult, but you don't remember the verse? You remember it's 10 time. You remember all the details. But you don't remember the verse.
The truth is, the Muslim don't want this verse to be in the Quran. They ate it. They drop it down. And you know, if uh, if the goat ate one page, two page, three page, five page, seven pages, according to Muslim, Hafsa she have a Quran. Fatima she has a Quran. Uh, uh, Ibn Mas'ud, Abu Mas'ud, he have a Quran. Ali, he have a Quran. Everybody have a Quran. Okay, the goat, she ate the Quran in the house of the Prophet. What happened to the rest? <clears throat> And the funny is, the Muslim they say that the Quran is a preserved. <laughs> anyway, our topic today for those who just enter here is about a Muslim he can lie to his wife. And this is a Muslim website, which is an official for Muslim sheikhs who they teach Muslim how to lie. So the, uh, a Muslim man, he is uh, obviously cheating. He is uh, marrying uh, many other wives beside the first wife. So you want to be sure that he is lying according to Islam is halal, it's lawful. So the answer is yes, as you see. He asks, can I lie? Can a man lie to his wife? Because he don't want to make her upset. He don't want her to leave the marriage. Can I lie to her? The answer, absolutely yes. It is lawful, as you see. So your lying to your wife by denying having second wife is lawful. And there is no harm in it. As long as your goal is to preserve your companionship. Look how decent this religion. I feel I want to cry. Relationship. But he's horny for more women. This woman in the bed, she is not good enough. She don't have all the tricks. So I'm going to lie to her and I will marry second wife. She is more experienced. And then the second wife, I will lie to her about the third wife. Because the third wife is way better. And then the third wife, I will lie to her to the fourth wife. Because the third wife, she is very good, but still there is something missing. And then the fourth wife, it's time to go. That is Islam. There is no marriage in this garbage cult. It's a sexual contract cult. Even their heaven is about sex. And lying is permitted as part of the religion. Why? Because their prophet is very decent. It's a clear sign of decency when you lie to your wife. When the husband lied to his the wife, the wife lied to her husband and the husband lied. This is what they say. The wife, she can lie to the husband. The husband can lie to the wife. I mean, isn't it this religion is so beautiful? My friend, we told you many times, don't tell me this person want to call you. We are posting Skype, the admin posting, none of your business. Don't worry about who want to call me. Those are jokers. Stop doing that. Isn't it the admin posting my Skype? So why you are telling me he want to call you? My Skype is open, nobody calling, nobody texting. Stop. It's like a child in a classroom. Hey, sir, 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 this guy who want to talk to you, he can do it. Is he in the classroom or not? So you think I can see your text, but I cannot see his text? They are jokers, potatoes. We keep saying who's a Muslim wanna call me. They never call. <laughs> do you think we are blind? None of your business. Just do what you need to do. Don't worry about who wanna call me. The one who wanna call me, is it serious? My Skype is open. They are potatoes. They don't dare. He, he, even if you bring his mama and his daddy and his uncle and all the pizza town, they cannot call me because I have Tony with me. Do you have Tony with you? Potatoes. I mean, who is going to call in such a the prophet said? 
This is religion. Look like my internet is getting so weak because I have a very, very bad cold outside. So I think that is affecting me. And I think this is happening because of the cold outside. We have a blizzard in the state. Uh, see. <clears throat> Am I heard? Do you hear me now? It says the stream, current, etc. Blah, 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 blah. Lower than, okay. Well, guys, because of the cold, obviously, it's very, very cold. And uh, uh, they are saying this is uh, the, maybe, oh, here we go. It's again happening. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, I'm not going to keep you longer as long as there's no Muslims anyway. And uh, it's getting colder and colder. But don't worry, you know, for me, even if it's really cold, I mean, I have some pictures to look at and I will stay warm. I will stay warm until a century from now. I mean, what cold can do to me when I think about such a beauty, Prophet of Allah, he promised me. I don't, I'm not going to pay for gas and heating, no more. I just look. I'm going to print it, put it in my bedroom. I will put it in the ceiling. I will put it in the front of me. I will put it in the closet. I will put it in the fridge. Oh no, in the fridge, I cannot. The ice will melt. The ice will be really melting. The ice have feeling too. I can see. I don't want the food to be damaged. That will make the whole things, the bacteria will go horny. The yogurt and my 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 refrigerator will be boiling because the yogurt bacteria will go crazy. What the heck is that? So beautiful, so godly. This is the true God. I can promise. I mean, enough is enough, my friend. Finally, we found the truth. We want to see see through women. Look at those women in the chat. Look at them. None of them is see through. Do we have any women here is see through? Be honest. Who is a female here? She is see through. None of you. I feel sorry for you. That's mean you are not so white. We cannot see the marrow of their bones. And you have no beauty on you. Nothing. This is the real women. This is the real deal, finally. And you know, you go to heaven. And then they do. I'm losing connection again. You go to heaven, and then look, she sat in the front of you like this. I mean, I don't know what to do. Sometimes I get confused. Start looking from where? From the feet? The toes? Because all what I can see is just bones. Beautiful. Look at the hands where she put it. She's very conservative. Look where she put her hands. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. She put her hand, both hands between her legs. Very, very beautiful version. Even in the picture, she don't want you to see it because she is a virgin. She don't want to see details. Haram. Haram. So, so, so she put her hands there. I'm telling you, those are the best women in the world. Even when Allah, he told them, I'm going to take some pictures of you and send them to the earth so they can see the beauty. What they do, they are shy. She put her hands between her legs. Because, oh no, please don't take a picture there. Oh Allah, please stop. No, 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 no. You are don't, don't get so close. No, no, this is too much. So much revealing. And then Allah said, okay, no problem. Very conservative. We have to face it. Look at this. Even she is putting her hand there too. Like she is trying to hide something. You know what she is hiding. I'm not going to tell you. Especially if you are a Muslim, you are smart enough. All Muslims are smart. Oh, look at this position. Oh boy. 
what she's doing. That's over my, you know, hard, hard to explain. Her hands is wide open. Her legs is up to the sky. She's wearing high heels. I think it's like 20 inch high heels. And her legs is up. And her chest, the big chest, is coming up. Praise be to Allah. Or look at this one sideway. Oh boy, about the sideway. Don't 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 tell me about it, please. I mean, I heard of subway, but sideway like this, never. This is beyond the subway, beyond any subway, any highway. This is the way. So beautiful. One after one. I don't know how much, how many we can handle. I hope women who they are here, they can learn. Learn, 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 educate yourself. At least you will be beautiful one day. Learn how to, you know, come on. Enough is enough, man, with those women we see these days. We need something really seriously beautiful. Look at the women around us. I mean, what, what they do? Look at this. What the heck is that? Oh boy. I'm not even to go. I'm not going to go there. This is too much. And look, the stars is coming from behind around her. See, she's in the sky now. Do you notice the sky? The stars is flying around her. Aman Rabbi Aman. Aman Rabbi Aman. Where are you, Ardogan? Is getting more sexy and you know it so if this did not convince you that islam is from god and muhammad is a prophet i don't know how i can convince you here we go you can lie to the women the women can lie to you women they will be see-through we're in high heels they will not tell you that we spend your money and now why they will tell you anyway they, they cannot hide the credit card from you in their bra anymore here we go she have no bra you see through even if she eat hamburger, you see it in her stomach. We have to be honest here. Right? Mm. So beautiful. I have to stop here because I don't want to be misleading many young men, you know. I mean, I, I can tell many young men here are so, you know. Me, myself, I'm not that young, thanks to Allah, you know. Uh... I'm 17, so I don't think I'm young. Uh, but, you know, many of you, you are young, you know, and those pictures might uh, be a problem for you. It's not it's not good for your health. Please don't tell your mom and your dad that I showed you those things. Just this is between us. Okay? Yeah. This is the promise of Allah. Any Muslim have a comment? No Muslim have a comment. All right. Well, let me close my Skype then. Because obviously, maybe because it's so cold, they are not going to call. Maybe, I don't know. But I am the one who should be feeling the cold, right? I just converted 725 Christians. Are you saying to me, even the, the Christian women, they like this? And now they become a Muslim? Amar Rabbi Amar. <laughs> This is the religion of hummus. <laughs> but you know, we have to be honest here. You will see, look how beautiful this picture is. Look, I mean, what we can say? Four, four, and this is the youngest one, the last one, the one in the left. For this guy from Indonesia, obviously he's rich. Look at look at his stomach, how big it is. And this picture may be taken like 10 years ago. By now, I'm sure he have a new team, new soccer team, new football team. For, you know, yeah. 
Look at his stomach. None of them she have a stomach. He he can eat them all. No wonder. I mean, he need four. I mean, look at this. Look, look at this bum in his. This guy he's going to deliver a boy soon. You know, his wife. They are not delivering boys. I think he is. Ah, I remember the prophet. He says that Muslim men they can deliver boy, deliver children in heaven. He said if he a Muslim he wish to have a son. You know, he can have it in less than fifteen minutes. In Arabic, it says "sa," which means an hour, but that in our language today, but in the language of Muhammad time, "sa" mean fifteen to twenty minutes. I don't know. You know, I don't care if a Muslim can have a baby; that's not a problem. But how he will deliver the baby, I'm not really sure. You know what I mean? How he will deliver the baby? He will conceive it and he will I mean and the and the and the boy will or the son will be born and he have a beard that's so good very good anyway guys I think we have enough for today and look like today we don't have too many what is today uh, Wednesday. Oh, well, it looked like Wednesday is not a good day to go live. Oh, no, actually, uh, I went live in Tuesday. Now it's Wednesday, because now it's 12.24. All right, so we, now we are. So Tuesday, maybe it's not a good day to go live, because we have uh, almost just 900, not many. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to go like sometime early in my time, so people in Europe, they can join us. And sometime like now, so people in Asia, they can join us. All right. Uh, <coughs> so just take a note, subscribe. And actually we are almost, how many, how many we have? How many subscribers I have? You know, I used to have my, uh, my channel uh, subscription hidden. I don't like really to show, I don't care for the numbers. But uh, YouTube a few months ago sent a message says, that nobody can hide or you cannot hide your numbers your uh, you know uh, anymore uh, so I, I have it always it was hidden and then YouTube make it and uh, you know I think we have almost 98,000 yeah we have to be 100 okay let us have 2,000 more before the Christmas come before the new year shall we 2,000 more just actually show those pictures I put in the screen and you will see how many people will, will, will subscribe. All right? Just show the pictures and you will see. It's going to work. You know? If you go, you know, how do YouTube pages, they work, you will see, uh, I mean, funny videos, stupid videos. It's just about uh, other, either reaction video. People, they love to go and click at reaction video. Why? I have no idea. I mean, somebody have a reaction. What's your business? <laughs> you know, human being is like a, a stupid animal. Somebody have a reaction, a reaction video, and the guy, his mouth is open. <sighs> and, and then I click because, oh, I want to see why his reaction for what? His reaction because you're stupid. So you can click at his video, don't you know? <laughs> or you want to watch a video about butchercraft. You type which you call like off a grid, uh, you know, off a grid. And then what you find, the women, she is wearing no panty. What does this have to do with off a grid? So we are in a time now where people, they can generate a huge number of subscribers or viewers, but those are pervert people. Pervert. We don't want pervert. We are not seeking pervert to subscribe to us. We want real people. I'm not seeking monkeys and donkeys. I'm seeking real people, decent men and decent women. What do you think about the argument? It says there are many women uh, than men in this planet. <clears throat> well, this is a, you see, I want to teach you something, uh, money. Uh, you know, when somebody use a logic, use his logic. You know, many of us, uh, like, you know, Muslims don't debate me for a reason. Because I beat them with their stupid logic. And I will give an example. This is what you said, right? And this is what they told you. This is their argument. 
Well, who is the one who made the women more than the men? Allah. Can't Allah fix it? <laughs> Secondly, there's some countries, they have more boys than girls. As example, China, the biggest country in the world. They have more boys than girls. Therefore, then, a, Muslim, a woman in China, she can marry four men because they have way more boys than uh, women. So if the balance is broken, isn't it Allah in control? This is number one. Secondly, stop killing each other. Tell the Muslims, stop invading each other and kill each other so they can have, you know, when Muhammad is speak about orphan, Muhammad marrying orphan, stop going to war. You kill people, the people kill you, and then you will have orphans, and then you will have widows. So all those excuses are stupid excuses. And if I want to help women, I can help them not by sleeping with them. Like the Quran is speaking about sleeping with orphans. Is that how you take care of the orphan by raping them? So those are false excuses because if Allah is God, then this God, he can make the balance happen. Can't Allah change the gender birth ratio? Can't he? Isn't he God? Isn't him who decide if the male or female according to Muhammad? And what if the balance in the opposite direction? Can the women marry four husbands? This is a very false argument. There's many countries, you know, uh, the, the, you know, I, I have, a, I have a families, all of them, my cousins, all of them, they are male. There's no females. And so, you know, they are sitting, the, the, the guy came to ask for her hand and then her brothers, they start coming one by one. This is my brother. This is my brother. The guy stand up, shake hands. This is my brother. Shake hands and up. This is my brother. Shake hands and up. The guy got scared, terrified. I mean, the, what the heck? It's like a military camp. One after one after one after all of them, they are her brothers, boys. But when I say boys, I'm talking about men. They are big and, you know. So uh, there is some society, there is more male than female. So what we do? That is a false excuse. And how come all the Muslims, they have that? I mean, the Christian, they don't, uh, they, they, how come the Christian, they will not fix that issue by uh, by such a thing? And which society is a better society? Is a Muslim society now better because you marry four women? Your kids will hate each other because now, you know, those uh, women, they will fight. They will fight each other. They will, they, I, I remember when I was a kid, I went to, a, you know, uh, you know I, I went with a kid in my age to his house. In his house, we are playing and he said the F word to his brother. And he said to him, the F word to his mother, he said, you stupid, why do you say that? Isn't it his mother? He, your mother is his mother? He said, no. My dad, he had many wives. I remember once I went with one of them. We want to go and buy some ice cream or something. And then he went to his father. He said, I need to take some change from my dad. Come with me. So I went with him. His father is sitting outside in his, in his yard. And uh, 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 he asked him, imagine the father is asking him. He said to him, you are the son of who? Doesn't mean he do not know his son, but he don't know the son of which wife. You, you are the son of who? He don't know. How that can fix the problem? You know, and as you see, the wife, she can lie to her husband. The husband can lie. You know, I mean, this is not a, this is not a family. This is a, this is a farm. In a farm, they bring one male goat and many female goats if they bring two they will fight this is a farm we are a human we are not animals that cannot be a solution created by allah himself <clears throat> you know if you read my book Sex and Allah, you will find that the Arab women before Islam, they used to have multi-man, not one man. And when the women she have a child, 
she decide who is the father. She decide, she is the one who decide. So she sleep with, sleep with five, six, seven, as she wish. And when she gave a birth, she choose who is the father. She said to him, you are, and he accept. Doesn't matter which one of them. This is Arab before Islam. Muhammad came, he switched it. He make it the opposite. This is a very sexual community. And this is why all the religion about sex. Anyway, we have enough for today. Look like today we did not have too much. You can download this video, share it with your friends before we take it down. Because as long as no Muslim call me, usually I don't call, I don't, uh, I don't keep it. And as you notice, I'm keeping my videos now, but I'm trying to trim the video after I finish. If a Muslim call me and I keep only the call, the conversation, because I want Christians to learn how, I don't want to say how to debate Muslims because we don't debate them, how to get them busted. Muslims, they lie. I just see lying to her husband. So why do you expect them to be honest with you? So I'm keeping only the videos which we have Muslim calls and I trim the videos to keep only the call, the conversation, so Christian can learn from it. And learn how to, let us say, to get the Muslim busted. Never think that you are debating a Muslim. Because they don't debate. You can't debate a liar. You can only get him busted. Debate only happen between two decent people. He say what he believe, I say what I believe. That is a debate. A person who hide his belief, that is not a debate. And that's what the Muslim do. They hide their belief. They do something, they believe in something, and they say something else. Always. If you remember when uh, David Wood, he asked uh, Mimi Hijab, your God have a many body part. He said, who said so? He denied. Why? Because now it's a debate. I about even our, the nature of our God. And every single Muslim was present. He supported Mimi Hijab, even though all of them they knew is lying. This is the religion of the devil. Without lies, Islam dies. And this is the truth. So never expect that when you speak to a Muslim, you are debating him. You cannot debate a liar. But you can get him busted. And that's what we are trying to teach you. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Feel free to download the video if you want. But as you know, I will not keep it as long as we don't have too many. We don't have any call for today. We do not get lucky. And until I see you soon again, maybe tomorrow, day after. And for sure, we will be together in the Christmas night or maybe Christmas day. Just wait for it. I will announce it in Patreon. Feel free to join us there if you care. And until we see you soon again, this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is.